today let me show you my configuration of uh, MPD and NCMP CPP. Now the configuration of MPD and uh, NCMP CPP is nothing but uh, uh, a file, a configuration file that you need to uh, maintain. For example, if you install MPD on uh, Arch Linux, you will have uh, this configuration file which which is usually stored in uh, .config slash mpd and uh, then there is a file called mpd.conf which is the one that I'm showing you right now. Now the main thing that I do here is I have of course different uh, usually I have this directory called music and this music directory is basically the directory where which is usually in my home directory and if I attach let us say an external hard disk I have of course my songs stored on that external hard disk most of my songs like my, my my massive library of songs which I have been collecting for more than 20 years I sim link it to this particular folder so there is a folder within this folder called music where I have the same links to other directories that is what I do and I also at the same time keep my playlist in this particular music directory so that uh, all the songs are there for my uh, db file it is usually stored in uh, and by the way I keep my playlist here is because playlist in the in the in this music directory because uh, I also sometimes move the directory or sync it uh, to other devices uh, you can actually store this playlist in your config as well config directory as well uh, but my database is, is in the con in the db file which is db file is basically the file where uh, where the database will be built so it is nothing but a text file now log file is also in config pid file is also in the config and uh, and uh, state file sticker file they are all within conflict uh, dot config file let me show you what else i have auto update yes so this is something that you need if uh, you want uh, if you want new songs to be added to the database follow same follow, follow same links yes i want uh, uh, the same links to be f to be followed because i have same links to other locations so keep keep these options as yes along with that i think this is pretty much it for mpd i think uh, I'll probably have one more output like which is of course for, of course for the streaming I don't really use it to be honest so you can disable it but in case you have to enable it for testing purpose or maybe maybe you want to listen to music on a different device but you want to keep the music on a central server you can actually stream it to uh, to to a location to to I mean you have to use one IP address I mean this computer's IP address along with 8000 and it, it will basically give you this online player where you can uh, listen to music and I think this is pretty much uh, it I might have the visualization so these are of course the output so you have to specify this so for pulse you can use this mpd pulse audio output for ulsa you can use this ulsa mixer output and for visualization you can uh, basically use these configurations so this is it for the mpd nothing massive uh, nothing, I mean it is not complicated at all for ncmp cpp I have uh, of course a uh, few configurations that I wanted to also show you so talking about the directory so you have to specify this ncmp uh, pp ncmpp underscore directory uh, this is where your uh, your configurations are stored you can specify the lyrics directory so if you're listening to a song let me just show you if let us say I am uh, on this particular song I can press uh, O no not o, l and it will download the lyrics for me and uh, and you can specify the directory where the lyrics will be stored you can specify the mpd host and uh, the port number which is usually local host and 6600 and apart from that of course music directory so this music directory is uh, sometimes uh, important you don't have to specify it but because i also use ncmp cpp to make changes to the file so things like for example let us say you're listening to music let me just uh, let me just uh, open this uh, so this is one song like or maybe maybe I'll show you one song that I can edit uh, what so I think uh, I'll probably find uh, which one 
I'm looking for a song that I don't really want to keep. So the thing the thing is that I use NCMP to also uh, modify the tags of the songs, but also to, to delete the songs that I know that I don't really need. So uh, let me just uh, get rid of. Uh, well, I like uh, most of these songs, but I was hoping to delete maybe some of them. Which one? Okay, maybe I'll delete this one. Oh, I think I like this song. Ah, oh, I'm confused now. So let me just, I think, yeah, I think I can delete this song, share, believe. Okay, so let us say this is a song that you want to um, modify. So let, let us first modify the song. So if you press E, you will be taken to the tag editor. And you can only do that when uh, you have the, uh, you have the music directory configured in the NC, NCMP CPP. So that NCMP knows that where exactly these files are stored. So what you can do is you can maybe modify, let us say the performer. Performer is uh, share, share, I don't know how to spell it, to be, uh, I don't know how to pr pronounce it. Uh, so this is something that uh, you can do. And uh, if you have to, let us say, also um, delete the file, so, okay, so this composer didn't work. Let me just do it one more time. Performer, maybe. I need to lo look at the log file. Okay, so tags updated. No, come on. I, I still need to figure out how exactly this works. It usually works. Okay, let me just change the track to one, two, one, two, whatever. Okay, save it. And uh, do I need to update? No, it didn't work. Album artist. Ah, uh, so for some reason it is not really. Oh, yeah, I think it worked. I think it worked. It says twelve here, but not. It was not. Yeah, I think it works. But uh, I think you need to wait for the database update to finish. You can press U to start the database updates and then it will uh, maybe take some time i need to spend more time to to figure out how it works so i, I do use it but i i, I mostly organize my I, I mostly organize my files within uh, folders and sometimes i need to delete uh, my, my my song so sometimes if i need to delete the song what i can do is i can press o and then I, then if you press 2 you'll be taken to the browser where you can again press o and you will be actually in the directory where you can see the current song so right now of course the song is not playing but uh, let us say if you're lis listening to the same song let us open the same song or uh, maybe i'll just go there i'll play the song just to change the focus to that song i don't really want this song to be deleted or maybe i can maybe i can i think uh, I wanted to, to, oh yeah, so this is the song that I was looking for, 12, okay. So, let us go to, let us go to 2, uh, 2 is the browser, and if I press O, so you're you're, you're basically in, like in the, foc like you, you have the focus on this song, now if you press delete, you can then press the song, oh sorry, press Y and it will delete the song. Now the song number is 37, I'll probably also open the song, uh, I'll open the directory where I know this song is uh, there. Maybe I'll go to the music directory first. Music and uh, songs, English, 100 most famous songs of the 90s and the song number is uh, 37. So yes, 37 is uh, here. So what I want to do is, of course, I want to delete this song. So if I press yes, so the song is now gone, should be gone. If I go back to the same music directory, let us uh, take a look at 37. So 37 is no longer there. So this is something that you can also you uh, also do using uh, using NCMP CPP. And uh, what else? Do I have in my configuration? Let me show you. 
So visualizer data source, this is the same file mpd.v4, which I showed you. You can have the name of the visualizer, visual, visualizer settings like yes, no, spectrum, I mean the type and the look. So if you're looking at the visualizer, you can have things like this, or you can actually change the, I mean, these, these are, I mean, you have the colors and you have the, uh, the, the characters that will appear in the spectrum and you can actually change these characters here. I guess, and the colors, of course. I don't really, really worry too much about it, but just trying to show you. And this is pretty much it, I think. I think. Let me just uh, see if I have any other con uh, configuration. So yeah, one more thing. So whenever I change the song, let us say if I'm uh, if I'm looking at if I'm playing a song, I want of course a song name to be displayed on the uh, status bar. So right now the song is Share Believe Believe, which is which is something that we just deleted. So let me just uh, change the song and uh, if I change the song you can see on top the song is changing and I'm doing it using of course one shell script that I'm calling and uh, when you call this uh, I mean you can call this shell script uh, manually but I want this to be triggered when the song is changed and you can actually do that uh, when you have uh, this this parameter set execute on song change so basically in the NCMP CPP configuration you can actually call this shell script which is doing all the magic and if i show you the show you the shell script it is basically nothing but uh, uh, it is using i guess uh, ncmp cpp uh, hyphen hyphen current song so basically you will get current song uh, using this ncmp cpp command and you you can also do that with MPC because for this to work, NCMP CPP should be running somewhere. If NCMP CPP is not running somewhere, it is if it is in the background uh, or maybe it is not active, uh, then uh, the 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 song title will not change immediately because uh, this particular file is not called because NCMP CPP is not running, but MPC is running. So you can also use MPC instead of NCMP CPP for doing that. So let me just show you if I have anything else. Allow for physical item deletion. Yeah, this is something that I need to, to select because I want files to be deleted. And I guess uh, this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is something that I have in my configuration of MPD and NCMP CPP. I was me I, I was I, I wanted to make this video to show you how I do it because I'm quite happy with the setup that I was able to configure using of course Arch Linux and uh, uh, and uh, DWM and uh, if you are thinking of using Arch Linux on, Linux on on a very old computer then I think you should consider using uh, DWM and uh, you should consider using DWM along with, of course, uh, uh, of course, ST. ST is also a very, very fast terminal. I started using uh, ZSH, but I still have to figure out how to configure it. There is a learning curve, but um, but for the timing, I'm I'm happy with ST. It is simple. It it works. It it really works for me. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.